Hello and welcome to Insights from an Autistic. It is I, Armand. I have returned after a one month hiatus. And, uh, well, tomorrow, The Dark Knight Rises comes out. Well, at midnight. And so I will have a review of The Dark Knight Rises tomorrow after I see it. I'm very much looking forward to it. You know, after I got out of the theater four years ago of The Dark Knight, I, you know, I was very eager and ready to see The Dark Knight Rises, even though it didn't have a name at the time. But anyway, on with today's video. Taking things literally. Now, I know the majority, like almost every individual I've met on the spectrum, whether they have Asperger's Syndrome or they're autistic or whatever, tends to take things very literally. I myself tend to take things very literally. I'm getting better at it. Um, for example, I know more often if someone's making a sarcastic remark or not. I don't always know though, but there's some sarcastic remarks that are that you know are so common that have an idea. You figure out someone's personality. You know if they're being sarcastic. Of course, sometimes I don't know. Um, you know, another person's like, I'm just joking, Armand. So, I mean, it's still a challenge for me, but I'm getting better at uh, you know understanding you know sarcasm and whatnot. Sometimes I even make a sarcastic joke. So. And other, I've, I've met plenty of other people on the spectrum too. I've met who have, um, you know, made sarcastic jokes or even have a very sarcastic nature. Um, but anyway, you know, sometimes sometimes someone's lying to me. I have no idea if they're lying to me. I've actually met other people who are on the spectrum who have a better idea if someone's lying or not. Um, you know, someone would someone once told me about. Um, you know, I, I just be, you know, I, I get told lies and and then they'd be like, Armand, this person's lying to you. I'd be like, oh, I don't know, it's possible, you know, it, it, you know, it's possible what they're saying. And like, no, Armand, it's, it's not possible. And, uh, you know, like one person was telling me this lie and I, I thought it was very plausible what they're saying. Someone was telling me that, you know, Johnny Depp was actually also Jim Carrey and Leonardo DiCaprio. And, you know, I was thinking, well, that seems very unlikely, you know. Um, but this person claimed to have known Johnny, Johnny Depp very well. And I had to give the person the benefit of the doubt. But everybody's like, Armand, come on, use your noggin. Johnny Depp is not also Leonardo DiCaprio and Jim Carrey. This person is pulling your strings. And so, um, and so yeah, I mean, you know, if someone tells me an outrageous joke like that, you know, I don't, or not, I wasn't really a joke. This person was being dead serious to me. You know, they're probably wanting to see, you know, what they could get away with, you know, um, you know, I, I, I questioned, you know, whether they were saying the truth, but I didn't, you know, immediately say, oh, they're lying, you know, everyone else would go like, oh, you're lying, you know, I, I thought about it for a long time, you know, whether this person was telling the truth about Johnny Depp, you know, Oscar and Leo, and, uh, you know, Jim Carrey, so, so there you go, um, and, uh, so, I have a hard time, you know, with that. I mean, I'm much better now, much, much better. And um, I, I, I never assume that someone's lying, though, no matter what. You know, I might think that there's a strong possibility, but most people call someone out online and, and be like, you're lying, you know, whereas I'm thinking, hmm, let me use my noggin here. Hmm. 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 And so I'll be going like that for a long period of time. I'd be like, hmm, this person claims that they were abducted by aliens and all this other type of stuff. Hmm, I guess it's possible. Sure, why not? Or, um, actually, I, I might actually really believe that one about the aliens. I'm going to have to say something outrageous, like say that they were abducted by aliens and met Elvis and uh, they were really a millionaire, millionaire even though they smell like a hobo. Actually, it does remind me no offense personally, but I, I once took a um, a bus because um, when I was out in LA, because I didn't want to drive to LA because of traffic and you know gas and parking and all that. So there was like this homeless guy, or at least he seemed like homeless guy. You know, he didn't smell good, didn't look good, um, and he was telling me about how he he's making all this money, blah blah blah, how he has all this work. And I'm thinking, you know, at first I thought it was pl plausible. I say, no, okay, okay, but, and then I realized though that there were inconsistencies in his story. And you know, um, my first initial impression was he doesn't—he looks like a homeless guy. That's my initial impression. 
Um, but I'm like, well, I guess they could be saying the truth. Um, it's very possible. But then, you know, there started to become inconsistencies. And actually, though, even with the inconsistencies, um, I still wanted to believe him. And I, I, I still had a hard time not believing him. So, um, but this was recently, like a month ago. But finally, you know, I, I, uh, I said to myself, okay, Ramon, let's get realistic here. Let's use our brain. This person's lying. So, I mean, it takes, you know, you can tell me the biggest lie, and I'll probably believe you. Um, you know, but I'm much better now. You know, I will question um, whether you're telling the truth. I, I might question it, but I'll still give you the benefit of the doubt. So, um, so there's that. And uh, I don't know how, you know, but I've met other artistic people who, if you tell the same lies to, they'd be like, you're lying. And there are other artistic people I know who are just as, you know, severe, under understanding people's lies, or even more severe, you know, like, they totally don't get sarcasm at all. If someone lies to them, it's the truth all the time, no matter what. Um, I used to be more like that, um, but with time, you know, I've learned more about sarcasm and lying and all that. I think I had a couple other good examples, but I can't remember about that one yet. So anyway, um, it's definitely a reality that the majority, if not all, people on the spectrum face or have faced at some time in their life. And um, I guess through life experiences, you learn when someone is likely lying or when they're likely telling a joke or being sarcastic. Um, if you want to share your own personal experiences, go ahead um, and uh, leave them in the comment box below. Tomorrow greatest day ever. I will present my Dark Knight Rises review. Um, I'm going to go in with mild expectations. You know, even though I want it to be great, I'm going to go in saying, okay, it could be possibly not be great, you know, because I don't want to be let down. So anyway, I'm so looking forward to that, and uh, you'll hear from me. All right, take care and have an awesome day of awesomeness.